And, uh, you yeah. know, Cash Patel, somebody who hasn't been chosen officially yet, but he is being floated as the head of the FBI. And there's another name. You talk about, you know, what he uncovered with Russia collusion. Someone like that, Donald Trump, knows he'd be on his side. Why would people be, you know, kind of... Of, well, I know why, but um, do you think he will go with cash as the head of the FBI and, and uh, what type of cleanup we might see? Because whistleblower after whistleblower have said we have got to do something about this agency. Yes. Well, I, I know Cash Patel and he's very, the thing that strikes me about him, he's very, very bright mm -hmm. and he's mastered the intricacies of the bureaucracy. And he was Devin Nunes's right hand uh, researcher and activist in that uh, inquiry about Russian, the hoax of Russian collusion. He was one of the primary people who uncovered. He dealt, he dealt directly with people who lied under oath, like uh, Andrew McCabe, like James mm -hmm. Comey, who couldn't remember. So he knows these people, and he knows what the FBI did in these performance art raids at Mar-a-Lago and Roger Stone. He went after school boards. He knows that yeah. uh, Andrew McCabe lied under oath. So did uh, James Comey when he feigned amnesia. Robert Mueller couldn't remember about GPS and the Steele dossier under oath. Christopher Ray, no comment. So he knows it, and he knows that it doesn't work when you just come in and you make a, a superficial change of hierarchy of 10 or 12 people. Yeah. So he's going to do fundamental. And I don't know what that would be, but some of the things that he and others have talked about is moving the headquarters of the FBI out of Washington or breaking up some of the agencies so that you outsource them to Homeland Security or Treasury. But you don't want this concentration of unchecked power and messianic, self-righteous vindictiveness that we've seen. And he would be, a, I think he would be uh, a very good pick. And he's going to be, people hate him because he's capable. And he, he's seen the, exactly. the one-eyed jacks and he's seen the other side of this FBI one-eyed jack. Exactly. And that's why the Matt Gates uh, selection is also making some people concerned. I'll play a little bit of this. This was uh, on NBC about what sources in the DOJ are telling uh, some of their reporter friends. I've gotten two different texts from different people at the Justice Department who just use the word insane to respond and react to this uh, potential appointment. And then also questioning whether Matt Gates can be confirmed insane or, uh, you know, a threat to their existence. Yeah, I think the only reservation is, will he, will there be Republicans that vote against him because of the Kevin McCarthy removal that they haven't gotten over or they, right. I don't want to get into it. Yeah. But as far as what that comment, we got to remember that Eric Holder bragged that he was the wingman of Barack Obama, that he wasn't disinterested. And we got to remember that he disobeyed a congressional subpoena that, of that sort that sent Steve Bannon later to jail, and that he was knee deep in the scandal of Fast and Furious. And then his replacement, Loretta Lynch, while she was investigating Hillary Clinton, was meeting on the tarmac with Bill Clinton. And then we go on and on and on and on to what Merrick Garland, I mean, Merrick Garland on one day appointed Jack Smith to go after Trump. The same day, his legal counsel met with Fannie Willis's boyfriend in the White House to yeah. discuss the Georgia case. Yeah. And the same day, his third ranking uh, deal.